Everyone, welcome back. Hopefully last week you didn't miss our little toast to Poseidon. And this week, we're heading off to Russell Island. Hey everyone, we're the Carmina family from Victoria, BC, Canada. Last year, we decided it would be a great idea to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. We found a 1969 Stevens Brothers aluminum boat that needed a lot. And I mean a lot of love. Of course, we decided it'd be fun to make all the repairs and do the refit ourselves. After 19 years of marriage, this may be the end of us. Join us on our adventures cruise in the Pacific Northwest and getting Tango Rota ready for a massive trip around the world. It's been a busy day today. We've got the name on, we're at the dock. Now we're back at Mooring, which I have to say, I really like actually being at Mooring or Anchor or whatever. I like being away from the dock. Uh, but now we're gonna go pick up our prawn traps because I'm trying to catch quite a bit of prawns. I've got friends coming on board this weekend, Blaine and I, so we're gonna catch some prawns. And if I have too many, I'm just gonna give them to local boats. because it's been chewing up my hands doing this. But you know what, it's my exercise, this is what I do. I try not to use my back, I use my legs, but let's pull it up and see what we got. Maggie, you good? time I was tailing prawns I did a knife um, someone told me I'm wrong actually a couple people told her I'm wrong and you know what I really appreciate that we are new to this whole West Coast living style so thank you very much for showing me how to do it um, everybody and so now I'm doing it right so I grab the head like this grab this it's a, like a quarter turn I twist and if I go slow enough look at that poop thing comes out <gasps> Perfect! So that's how, and then we have our perfect little prawn tail. So that's how I do it now. Alright, so we're away again. This time we're going for a weekend. We've got some friends on board. Um, we're having so much fun. Our first stop tonight is Russell Island. Russell Island is a really cool place. I'm gonna have to tell you the history tomorrow when we have to do a little cruise around. But it's right off of Swartz Bay on Vancouver Island. It's a great little anchorage. You can see the island just there on the left. We're gonna just cruise around there, put an anchor. There's an awesome dock for tenders to go to. A little bit of a walking path and lots of history. So again, this is Russell Island that we're going to for the weekend. Um, we're just gonna be here for one night and then tomorrow we're going on an adventure. shoes next time. That hurt the bare feet. Caught some prawns and now we're gonna have a prawn feast. Right Maggie? Maggie likes her prawns and we've got more over here. So this is our first time having friends on board. Ah! This is Tina. And it's awesome having other girls on board because like the galley's just been bustling. I hate to say it. The guys are useless in the galley. And this is Ange. And this is seriously our first trip with guests on board. And I felt like I was on charter again. Just for a little bit. But then I was like, oh wait, I'm not enough to serve these people. They can just help themselves to whatever. So it was absolutely perfect. But when I was straightening up and cleaning, I'm like, oh, I am so not a stewardess. <laughs> Which is why I was the first maid on the Mega Yachts, not a stewardess. But there's the boys on board. 
I know. Maggie's that always got awesome. Brian on board. Exactly. He is like woodworker extraordinaire. We got Paul Kraken. We call him Captain Kraken. Now I should explain. We call him Captain Kraken because that's his boat, the Kraken. So he's got an awesome fishing boat charter company. And you know what? I will put the link down below of his new charter company. So if you ever want to go fishing, well, let's go back to Paul. Paul, what do you fish for and where out of? Salmon and halibut out of Chiana Marina in East Souk. So if you're back on Vancouver Island, you've got to go come see Captain Paul. Seriously, it is the best experience. Blaine, how are the burgers? Oh, fantastic. Let's see. Wow. Let's go eat. I figure I should be. <laughs> Before we ate, Captain Paul put down the crab trap. I have no clue how he was going to do. We've never crabbed here before. Pull it up. Yeah. Pull right into the boat. Bring it up. Bring it straight up into the boat. I think you have crabs. I got something there. We have some keepers. <laughs> Lighthouse. Yep. If you remember our video about crabbing in Sydney Spit, lighthouses are males, beehives are females. You can only keep the here? lighthouses. Lighthouse. Oh yeah. Three lighthouses. Three nice keepers. There you go. Now go break them. Yeah. And after cleaning the crab and doing the naming ceremony, it was a perfect time for some s'mores and to enjoy the campfire. That's my pie maker. Two slices of bread, some pie filling, and voila! Yummy goodness. Good morning, everybody. It's a stunning morning in Russell Island. I'm just being quiet. Everybody's still asleep. I'm just waking up. Just put on the kettle. Maggie's gonna have to go for a pee pretty soon. She's waiting patiently. Look. It didn't take long for everyone to wake up and head on shore. Maggie needs to go pee. Oh, it was tied right there. I, I tie it here now. So good morning, we're at Russell Island. This is an awesome ramp up, but check out the dinghy dock. They did such a great job. So there's our dinghy there. Lots of room for dinghies. It's a beautiful moorage. A little bit of wake from the ferries. Especially think, I think it was catching us by the beam. But these are our beautiful trees. Beautiful red bark. The bark actually comes off. I hate when people draw on them though. And the thing about them is they always grow next to water. As you see how the bark peels off, they're absolutely stunning. Our beauty trees. Russell Island is a small island with a large history. And for us, it was an awesome anchorage. It was settled by the Hawaiians as early as 1886. The historic Kanaka House still stands and can be found on a side trail off the northeast portion of the Main Loop Trail, which is exactly where we're heading. And the Main Loop Trail is awesome because it runs around the entire island. Through a volunteer agreement with the Park Reserve, the Mahoy descendants share their family stories about life on Russell Island during the summer months. Hopefully after COVID, the stories will be told again. So Maria Mahoy is known for whistling for the wind. Um, she was born in Vancouver Island in mid-1800s um, to a First Nations mother and Hawaiian father. So mixed blood. Um, she lived her life on the hard and uncertain frontier of a young colony over here in Vancouver Island. 1902, she inherited Russell Island, which is where we are right now, from William Homea, a Hawaiian friend and possibly her father, they're not sure. She moved here with her second husband, George Fisher, and they built a home for their family in 1905. By this time, Maria was a mother of 13 children. I have trouble with two. I couldn't even imagine 13 children. There's lots of descendants here who remember her vibrant spirit, love of sailing. Um, Harry Roberts, her grandson, recalls that boat would just go right over and the spray would just fly. She'd fly. Whistle for the wind and it came. This must be the old Hawaiian superstition. With her, there was always seemed to be a breeze. Maria lived on the island until her death in 1936. She was in her early 80s. So this is Maria here. Let's see if you can see it. Maria here. And as a younger daughter, or as a younger, younger Maria. So that was the old homestead there. Ooh. The old house here. 
I think this is a cistern for water. That'll be a cistern for water. Fiberglass, it's going to be new. A little bicycle. And usually, before COVID, the descendants would be here and they operate this and answer, answer questions like uh, museum. Unfortunately, everything's shut down. Okay, that's cool. Hawaiian statue. You just lose the dog. The old kerosene jug. Water tower. So again, like we said, there's orchards all over the Gulf Islands. And look, there's little baby apples starting. That one doesn't look very good. <laughs> and after our walk around the island and our exploration of the Mahoy family homestead, it was time to head back to Tangaroa. Anything good? I don't do toast. We've got muffins and Tina is cooking up a storm in the galley while we're underway. It's scrambled eggs with peppers and onions in it. It's gonna be cheese. We've got bacon. Bacon. Actually I haven't really used the oven ever on board this boat and I just did and I brought bacon underway all ran by solar. Awesome. I don't even know what the batteries are right now. We should go check. Hey Blaine, what's the batteries right now that I use the oven to cook bacon? 78%. So we use 3%? Yes. 3% with the stove running and the oven for cooking bacon. That's yeah, not and, bad. And bacon is worth it. Oh, yes, I know. Absolutely. We've got 10%. Paul has taken over Blaine's job. He is now <laughs> Captain Paul of the Tangaroa, of Tanga. The newly named. Newly named Christmas. Tangaroa. Absolutely. And we are heading to Ganges Harbor to check out the market because we need to go shopping. So Salt Spring Market is absolutely famous and we're gonna go check it out right now. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. Join us next time when we head to Salt Spring Market and then off to Wallace Island, a history that involves Marilyn Monroe. And we leave our own mark there. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button because I am seriously not on a schedule right now with these videos. And Blaine and I really don't want you to miss one episode.